So the material we've got here is our stage one sound deadener. Now it's a rubber based product. In engineering terms, they'll call it a constrained layer dampening mat. What that means is it's got a, a form of rubber underneath and then an aluminium layer. Almost think of it like a swimming pool with a pool cover on it where that top layer is taking that shock energy from underneath and constraining the energy in there. So this material is ideal for panel resonance, noise and vibration coming up through your floor pan, uh, your door skins where you'll get suspension shock, travel, that sort of thing vibrate through the panels. It's gonna help dull that off. You're gonna use this product on your floor, vertical and inverted. It cuts easily with scissors. It's also waterproof. So for those four wheel drive guys or guys with, uh, I guess, convertible cars, they're worried about water. Water's not gonna get underneath. Uh, the butyl based rubber on it is wax like, so water won't break it down. And it's pretty much ageless. Unlike the old school stuff, which was bitumen based, you'll find over time that that stuff will start to shrink and crack and then delaminate. And people are concerned about rust, that sort of thing underneath. Provided you've cleaned your surface down, you'll stick this down, no water or moisture will get under it. So something you'll also notice with our product, it's got a dimple face. Now what that dimple face allows you to do, it's basically a guide code in that sense, if you reference it to like surfacing a vehicle, where this relies on having something to push it down and form it down so it's stuck. Any adhesive, say simple forms, your masking tape, which is wax coated crepe paper, typically with an acrylic adhesive. If you don't press that down so the adhesive bites in, it's not gonna stick. So your role is gonna be your friend to push and form it in. But these actual bumps on the top, they're raised at the moment. As we roll through the product, you can see that they'll flatten out. So that gives you a guide to say, hey, that's where it's been rubbed particularly on areas where you're working against gravity, vertically or inverted on a roof skin. So we're gonna start this car now, and first and foremost is to figure out, okay, where am I gonna start? Now, nature of the beast says, hey, let's put it on the floor, but reality is, when you logically think about it, is I'm gonna crawl all over the floor and I'm gonna tear this stuff, it's gonna to stick to my pants, all that sort of thing. So what you wanna do is work top down. Now the roof on this car is already done where it's got a heavy textured bitumen based coat that's still in good condition, we're not gonna to touch it. We're gonna start from the quarter panels down. Treat it as a heat map and this open area that you can see in here, this is where all the noise is. Think of it as a drum skin. If this is the hemmed edge of it, you're not getting much sound travel through here. It's all happening in the, this middle spot here. So we wanna cover that area. Now these sheets, size of these sheets allows us to fit in here quite well where we're just below that line and we fit there. What I'm gonna do is just, you could make a template. It's easy enough to just form this in, that it is flexible. And now I can get a texture, draw on there, cut a nice curve. Now, I'm not concerned with trying to cover 100% of the vehicle. A lot of people you'll see get on and OCD kicks in and you want it to be better than your mate next door. So you're gonna, no, I bought another box, I did more than you. Reality is you wanna cover these areas at minimum. There's gonna be hardware bits where we're gonna work around and I'm just gonna leave them clear. So I'm gonna start doing this area, work around and work down. Now, something we wanna do is ensure that this is clean. It's that old thing when you go to the hardware store and you get those self-adhesive hooks. Who wipes their wall down before they put them on? Reality is not many people. You just stick them on and then you complain the product didn't work. Cleaning the surface down, like this could have had silicon, grinding dust, anything in it. So. Even when I do that, I can see that it is dirty. Get some prep wash, wax and grease remover. If you just use the white based spirit or alcohol based, wipe it down so the dust, it's dust free and clean, then you're not gonna have any adhesive issues. So another tip for you is self-adhesive, 100% strength at the moment. As Soon as I stick my hand on it, I'm gonna contaminate that surface and then the adhesion's gonna be less. So uh, try and avoid touching it. Can usually get your fingernail in between and I'm actually pulling on the aluminium there. Or just peel a small amount off, so you're not touching this face, and then you can tack that down. So we've got some joints here where you can see different pieces have made up. Now to seal that up, if you want to make it all nice and neat or you want to be able to wipe this out and not catch an edge, we've got a foil tape. So this is a black foil tape. 
that we could just stick straight over the top. Yeah.